By connecting a compatible camera via USB to a computer, users are now able to control the entire image capture workflow through mouse clicks. Let's launch the program and get started with the standard workflow. I will first select Live View and position my object on my lighting table in the camera's field of view. As you will see, the Live View is streamed in real time to the program. Next, in the program I will make changes to my camera settings to ensure they are optimized for my lighting. As camera settings are adjusted, the exposure simulation is projected in real time on my monitor screen in the Live View window. The next step in my workflow is to crop. I will enable this, then drag the pre-crop marker over my subject to define my shooting area. Last, I will simply click the snap button. You will see this image is instantly uploaded to the program with the correct exposure and crop we had defined while in the live view mode. Moving on to shooting my next angle or object, I will enable the live view. You will notice the crop marker for my previously shot item is still retained. I will simply place my object, then hit Snap. This is the standard photography workflow. Live view, place, then snap. In addition to the standard workflow tools, there are advanced image capture features that further enhance usability and workflow efficiencies. Shutterstream includes back-end image processing tools that are perfect for many different photography applications. After we have captured a set of images, let's select these from the thumbnail viewing gallery and enter into the editing portion of the software. We have imported three images into the editing area. We will first want to enhance image quality by increasing the sharpness. As we make changes, you will see the editing preview window pop out. This tool is used to get real-time feedback as editing changes are made. Next, we will want to inspect the color values of the image using the eyedropper tool in the top right of the UI. This tool specifically allows us to see if we have a pure white background. In this case, we do not. So let's use the level tools to make a small adjustment to create the white background. Simply from here, I will select Apply to All. The Sharpness and Levels tool will be applied to the entire set of images I'd imported in. After edits have been applied, we choose to batch save these images. We will simply enter in a master name, select the Save To directory, and choose to resize should users require. We can also choose whether we wish to apply a custom watermark or transfer these images directly to an FTP site. Simply from there we hit OK and the images will be saved and resized accordingly. Let's take a look at our results. Shutterstream is a sure way to save your business time and money with every image captured.